Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of accessible computing, a new world of accessibility. Hi, this is your tech assistant Ratul. In today's video, we are going to learn how you can create table in MS Word. A table is very useful to show any data. For example, you have some student's name, their roll number and some other details. You can easily show with the help of table. For our case, we are going to show some item and its price. So let's see how you can create a table using NVDA. If you first time visit this channel, don't forget to click on subscribe button and press the bell icon, choose all notifications to get latest videos. Let's start. For this, go to Insert tab by pressing Alt then Retro. Land, land. Rip, draw tabs, insert tab, select it all. And Press tab until you hear table split button. Comment shared insert blank page page break tables grouping table collapse day table is a great way to organize information. Press enter here. Next table data grid one x one table grouping. One Live it. Press tab until you hear insert table. Insert table alt n t i. Press enter here. Insert table dialog table size number of columns edit alt plus c. So there are columns and rows available. If you are imagine an A4 slate or a braille slate, so there are rows and columns. From left to right, whatever cells you are viewing is called columns and from top to bottom, whatever cells you are viewing, it's called rows. Every row has columns. So rows are arranged horizontally and columns are arranged vertically here you need to select the table size first is number of columns number of columns out. so we need just two columns so i am just pressing down the row four three two two i have selected two by pressing down the row you can use up arrow down arrow to select that then pressing tab number of rows edit alt plus r selected two so two I am just selecting uh, one more row. I am just pressing up at once. Three. Also, I think you can type here. Now I am pressing tab. Fix column width. Auto fit behavior edit selected auto. Okay. Remember dimensions for new OK button. Just click on OK button. Document one word. Document table with three rows and two columns. Row one, column one. Now the table is created and your focus moves to the first row and the first column of this table. To navigate between rows and columns, you can use tab and shift tab key or the table navigation keys. The table navigation keys are alt control left arrow right arrow for columns, alt control up arrow down arrow for rows. Now in first column, I am typing not supported in this document. Blank out of table blank. Table with three rows and two columns row one column one. Now I'm typing I T E M space space item. I'm pressing tab table with three rows and two columns. Item row one, column two, page one, section one. Column one item, column two. Column two. Okay, so in column two, I'm typing price. E I I R I C E. I'm pressing tab again. Row two item, column one. So row two item. So here I'm writing an item name. For example, I'm typing. TWS. E -S. I'm pressing tab. Price column two. No, now no, no, I'm no. entering a price. Two nine five nine. And I'm pressing enter. Uh, sorry, I'm pressing uh, tab key again to move to the next row. Row three item column one. So next item I'm writing. A T -E A D P A O N E. I'm pressing tab. Price column two. Press. I'm writing. Five nine nine. If I press tab here, see this is the last row. If I press tab here, another row will automatically be created. Okay. So there is no column. Column will not be created, but row will be created automatically if I press tab. Now this is how you can create a table, a default table. Let's discuss about how you can, if, if you feel that, e see, 
Item row one, column one item. See, now column I'm reading by using row two, table keys. 59. Table navigation keys. Headphone row, T, item row one, price. Column, column two, price. So price you have written. So for example, if you're thinking that I need one more row in that table, how you can take that? So for that, I'm pressing application key where I want to take the row. Uh, focus, my focus is on that column. I want to add a not row, I want to add a column. So my focus is on that column. I am pressing application key here. Cut unavailable I am pressing down arrow. Copy unavailable paste option. Search price search synonyms collapsed. Synonyms. Right suggest read allowed retranslate insert collapsed. Type. Insert collapsed. So I am pressing right arrow to expand. Insert columns to the left. Add a new column insert directly to the left. Columns to the column left. L. Okay, so you can already listen the instructions. So you can listen to the instructions and as per instruction you can. Uh, do as as your job okay so uh i can insert a column to left insert columns to the right add a new okay, column so directly to the, the right, of right the current or insert rows above add a new row directly so above the current row a. yes so i can insert a row insert rows below add a new row okay, directly so insert below, a the below row. row insert cells insert cells row only or cells into the sheet or table uh, insert columns to the left add a new okay, column so insert columns to the right add so a new I'm column adding directly a column to the right, right. The document now one see. word document selected See. Table with three rows, column three. Column three, this is blank. Column two, price. Come to price. Column three. Three is blank. So whatever uh, data you want to type, you can type here. Now, if you want to delete this column, what you can do? Just focus on this column and press application key. Cut on avail. Press down arrow until you hear the delete option. Copy, paste, send, read, or translate, insert, delete cells D. Just press enter here. Delete cells dialog. Shift cells left radio button checked all. Yes, no. I'm pressing down the row. Shift cells up radio. Delete entire row radio button. Check no. all. Delete entire column radio delete button. Delete column. All. You can find this option by pressing down the row. Whichever option you want, just press enter. Then if I delete, press delete enter. Delete column radio button. If check I press all enter on delete entire column, then definitely the column where I focused will be deleted. Let's see. Document one word. Document table with three rows and two columns. Item. See. Before it was three rows, three columns. Now it was three. It is three rows two columns so this is how you can insert and you can delete the columns in the columns or rows or in a in a particular cell whatever data you want you can write you can create a link also so this is how you can create a table now practice yourself and master it if you find this content useful definitely press a like button and share this video and don't forget to let us know in the comment section which type of videos do you want to watch on our channel thank you for staying tuned till the end thank you for staying with us thank you for watching this video see you in the next lesson soon till then bye bye